Hello friends, so welcome to this session of Real Numbers and today uh, we are going to discuss a new topic which is Euclid's Euclid's division division lemma okay so this is a very you know popular topic or very useful uh, theory or topic also uh, with regards to number theory uh, or number systems which you are studying in grade 10 now uh, before we plunge into this first thing which we'll do is as we have been doing let's do a recap of whatever we have done so far so if you see we have done uh, we just talked about uh, real numbers in the first session what they are who coined or let's say who was the first person to use the term real numbers in mathematics then we talked about divisibility what is meant by divisibility and uh, then we talked about uh, some results related to divisibility or let's say properties 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 related to or properties of divisibility divisibility now these are the topics which we have discussed so far now now we are dealing with uh, we are going to deal with a new topic which is euclid's division lemma now the first thing whenever we or the first time when i studied this topic you know the question which came to my mind was were these first of all who was this guy euclid who was he and uh, you know when did he exist and why is that we are studying his or was this lemma given by him or someone else uh, gave it or um, how did we come to know about his work second is i understand the word division because we have been you know doing division 30 divided by 5 is 6 and all that all this while so division we kind of know but what is this new term called lemma now this is surprising why all of a sudden these you know terminologies are coming in my way so these were the thoughts which were there in my mind when I, we used to study or let's say when we, I was in class 10. Now, um, then during our time, it was very difficult to actually do a research on these things and you have to sit for hours together in library to mine all this information. But today we, you know, just a click of your mouse and you can find everything out. So let's first find out, find out who was Euclid. So um, we know that this guy now was, uh, uh, was there in fourth century, fourth century or fourth century or to third century bc third century before christ yeah this was the time when he existed this he was a greek philosopher or greek mathematician that time um you know every subject used to originate from philosophy so he was a greek scholar let us use the word scholar and uh, he is also uh he's also famous for writing a book called the elements okay elements where he has talked about number theory number theory and geometry number theory and primarily geometry geometry actually this is not one book this is a, a set of 13 or you can say that there are 13 volumes to this book you can always go to Wikipedia and find out about find out more information so you can see this is Euclid this is how he looked like. I'm not sure who drew his picture or how did they come to know about it. But anyway, so this is Euclid and it says, can you see Euclid? Euclid, um, uh, or he was Euclid of Alexandria. So uh, this was in you know, uh, Greek kingdom of Greece. So this guy was uh, during the reign of Ptolemy I. So this is the information. And he has done a lot of work and especially in conic sections, spherical geometry, number theory, and rigor. So these are the things which he has done. And he has written this book, The Elements, right? So this book, as you can see, deduced the theorems of what is now called Euclidean geometry. So we are uh, studying whatever geometry you're studying today. You can either praise this guy or if you do not like geometry, you can even, you know, curse him. But I would suggest don't curse him because mathematics has gained a lot from this guy. So this he this, he is the guy who has done a lot of work, and today we are going to study his lemma. Now, having known this uh, this about this guy, 
now it's pertinent to know what is lemma so again you know what to do go to you can always go back to your wikipedia and you can always search so let me make a search so this is lemma so if you can see lemma and what is so lemma mathematics that's what we are going to understand so if you see what is lemma so a uh, lemma is what is lemma a lemma is a helping theorem so helping theorem right is a or is a proven proposition which is used as a stepping stone to larger result rather than as a statement of interest by itself so it's something which supports some other theorem so it is used to let's say prove uh, other theorems and uh, um it's it's derived from an ancient greek word lemma again so this is how lemma is pronounced to there and which in greek means anything which is received such as a gift profit or a bribe so if you can see this is nothing but uh, uh, you can say this is used to achieve something else used to so this particular gift or profit is used to do more business or get something done bribe as you all know bribe is done uh, bribe is made to get some job done easily so which is not legal by the way but yeah this is this is what it means so it is used to get something done get something something done so this is what this is what lemma means so hence in in uh, euclid's lemma also would be important to prove many other theorems and hence the word lemma so if you see there are many other well known lemmas and uh, you know for few are you know gauss's lemma is there can you, see, you can see that you'll study about all these later on if you pick up mathematics as your career option then there is poincare's lemma there are lo so many other you know lemmas which you'll come across if you happen to pick up mathematics as your career option so now let's go back so enough of uh, drilling down we discussed about euclid we discussed about lemma and division all you know so in divisibility also we understood what is division process so and we also talked about obelus symbol in the previous uh, sessions if you remember so now it's clear who was euclid he he this the guy this guy was a greek fellow greek scholar he was there in 4th and or 3rd century bc and he wrote a book called elements in which he has described all these things and then he has talked about division which is if you know studied under number theory which in your 10th grade syllabus it's it's uh, coined as number system now uh, and then we talked about lemma which is nothing but a supportive supporting 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 proposition isn't it supporting proposition proposition right so what we'll do is so after having this understanding let's go and understand what is euclid's division lemma